Welcome to Ready Days Europe 2021 here in beautiful Lisbon, Portugal, where we have some of the best and brightest minds in the industry. Quite a specific niche that we kind of found a few years back that uh, there is this large community in Finland that is listening to Euro dance from the boot of their car. But in podcasting, you can have a two-way conversation with a community of interest around a subject, a story, a worldview, a set of ideas that unite people, you know, not just in that community, but across a nation or a region or the world. Because we all are connected to some projects and developing podcasts, and it's very interesting to explore that part. To me personally, because it's the thing I want, the most interesting thing was seeing Portuguese podcasters and Portuguese journalists. Well, right now the focus is a lot on the tech giants. So when we uh, have content that is used on the uh, uh, Google or Amazon, uh, they have to, to pay us for using our content. We have come up with a debate format, the conflict, of course, but then the moderator moves the discussion towards reflections. It's very simple. We were just not playing enough female artists, so the record labels weren't signing female artists because they thought that we didn't play them, and obviously we didn't. So what told you as a, an editor, as a journalist, that no, we, we should stay on air for this? This is that important. We, uh, we saw the, 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 the water. Our uh, radio station is just beside the river and uh, our team worked until the last seconds. The culture we live in now, where people are quick to take offence, is they, they miss the point of the joke a lot of the time, so they'll hear a word, be triggered by it, mm. and, and then not even listen to the rest of the joke, or the context, or the point. Yeah. We're going to have to cut that now. <laughs> 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 So that's how I got interested in radio because I was very idealistic as a young man and I saw this amazing freedom of speech movement that existed in the form of Radio Caroline. You know, within the radio industry, I think, you know, you're always trying to push out amazing content out there and VR is just a complement to what's already out there. The reason why it's so successful is because me and my partner are being who we are. People in our community can relate to what we are talking about. The voices of our host and journalists, they give something special. They give, they give the soul, they give their soul. Just, sorry, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit, I have a problem with the, with the English language. It's, it's English, a little bit difficult for Mark, me. Just, your English is better than mine, <laughs> so don't worry about that. No, no, no. It's been really great, it's a huge event, uh, really, truly priceless. I think this is absolutely uh, amazing, uh, all of these, and we're not paying these people to say these nice things about Radio yes, Dance, by the way. Of course, the industry has changed so much and it's still continuing to change, but radio is and will forever be at the heart of everything we do.